Did he foresee that for you? Did he want you to be in the military yes, at some point? he did. And that was a big thing about the social media stuff. He wanted me to be in the military and do his business, like take his path. But we had our, our head butts about that. And that actually played a big part in me getting into social media. Um, cause I don't want to go to the military and it started a lot of problems and I got, I ended up getting kicked out because of that. And we just was like button heads a lot. And that's the whole reason I started TikTok and all the other stuff. You, he actually kicked you out of the house. Yeah. Uh, we got an argument side of the, on the high, on highway 400 and we just got in a big old argument, got kicked out of the car. And then I got a plane flight to Florida that day. Um, was at the airport for like five hours. And then went to college in Miami, left after a month, cause I went to college for track, but that, my track coach was ass, he was ass, he sucked. So yeah, left college, came back to my mom's. I was lost, I didn't know what I was gonna do. And I didn't have my dad no more, cause we wasn't in contact cause like that. So, and I, all I would do is make funny videos on Instagram and stuff like that, but I, I needed like something else, like another app. So I just found TikTok and then after that, it kind of just grew. So does, does he actually say to you, I don't want you ever to be at my house again? Or you take, you kind of like volunteer and kick yourself out. Nah. Like he, kicked your, he kicked you out of the car? Like he, he said, kicked, get yeah, out of my car? He said, get out of my car. And he was trying to fight me on the side of the road. But he said he didn't kick me out. I think, I think of it as if I would have came back to the house, I would have had to fight my dad. And I'm not doing that, so. Did he actually put his hands on you? Did he get physical with you or mm. it was about to get physical? I say he was about to get physical. When we talk about it now, now we're good. Me and my dad, we straight. But when, I talk, when we talk about it now, he says he was never going to. I know my dad. He was definitely going to. I can definitely see when he's finna, you know what I'm saying, get into that anger level. Were you about to put your hands on him? No, I'm not hitting my dad. I'm not. That's why I just... I, that's why I left. I was not finna go back to the house. That's like, that's looking for a problem. And I don't think, hitting your parents is not something you want to do. You're on the side of the road, Highway 400. Do other motorists stop? Are they concerned about what's going on or no one's paying attention? Um, a couple stop, just like, ask me what's wrong. And I said, I'm fine. But that's about it. Everyone else kept, just kept looking at me. Just literally just... Slowing down, checking out the scene. Slowing down, just looking. And... You just, okay, so he kicks you out of the car. You guys both get out of the car. Things may have almost got physical, but they didn't. He goes back into the car, just drives off? Drives off, yeah. And you're sitting, I mean, you're standing, you're walking, you're sitting? Yeah, I'm walking on the side of uh, Highway 400. And my slides actually came off, and so I was barefoot, too, on, on the side of it. And I called an Uber. I'm glad I called an Uber as soon as possible because it cut off my phone. So I called an Uber and to the airport, and then my, I told my Uber driver what happened. Went to the guy, I went to the gas station, ATM, pulled out 300 and went to Florida that day and went to my mom's house. When the Uber comes and gets you, he gets you at the gas station or the highway? The highway, the side of the highway. So you tell him, hey, I, I think I'm at this part of the highway? Yeah, yeah. I was like, um, I'm not nowhere, just like you're see me on the side of the highway. And he was like kind of confused, but he, he shout, shout out to him if he ever see this because he really, he talked to me the whole car ride, everything. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, it definitely was dangerous. Uh, Stopping on the side of the happen. highway to get somebody. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was. My mom always talks about that, about like how dangerous that actually was. That a lot of stuff could have happened to me being on the side of the highway, which I didn't think about at the time. But Daytime, nighttime? It was daytime. It was around for like, it was actually 11 o'clock. You know what's actually funny is I flew, I just came back that day from Florida. From, uh, from a visit in college, the college I, I ended up going to. I visited it, came back that day, and the day I came back is the day I got kicked out and flew back. Tough plane ride, I imagine, for you. Yeah, it was. But I mean, I've been flying since I was, I was about 10, 11. But I mean, tough in the sense of just what you had just dealt with. Oh, yeah. And now you got to have these thoughts. You're solo on the plane. Not solo like nobody's on the plane, but yeah. you're by yourself. You know, it's not like you're traveling with somebody on the plane. Yeah, was, you're by yourself and you have these thoughts going through your head. I yeah. imagine that's a tough plane ride. No, nah, it was. It was a lot of stuff going through my mind. Like I said, I was like literally going. I was, I don't know, I just felt lost. Like if you're in high school, you know what I mean when you graduate. You don't want to go to college 
and you just you want to do something, but your parents don't really want you to do that. And they just I, I get it, like they want you, they want the best for you, but it's just like I don't know, it's just a lot of stuff go through your head after you graduate, cause like that's when life really hit you, and I guess life really hit me. Your parents were split. Yeah, yeah, they've been divorced for a while. What age were you when that happened? Uh, maybe like one, five months, maybe. Very young. Yeah, very young, very young. But you end up living with your dad most of the time or the whole time? Uh, no, I live with my mom. And then I end up moving with my dad my freshman year of high school. But I would always visit him he, when he lived in Alaska. Actually, I did live with him for a while in Alaska, too. But from freshman year to senior year, those four years of your high school uh, years, you stayed with your father? Yeah, I stayed with my father, except from the first semester of my freshman year, I was with my, with my mom. I would always bounce back and forth. And um, why'd you end up living with him initially for that amount of time, those three and a half years there? What was the reason? Um, he ended up divorcing his wife. Uh, so he was just by himself. And I felt like- A second wife? Uh, yeah, his second wife. So I felt like he just, I don't know, I just wanted to be with my dad because I just felt like he was by himself. He asked you to, to, to come or you take it upon yourself and say, hey, I want to yeah. make sure you're okay. Got somebody to kick it with and- Pretty much, I, just, I called him, I told him I wanted to live with him. And yeah, I just, I just felt like he needed someone to be there with him because he was going through a lot too. And me and him been through a lot together. And he was open to the idea right away or did he try to fight you about the idea? Not literally fight you, but did he say, nah, I don't come, I'm straight. Yeah, nah, he, he was open to it. He, my dad don't care, he wanted me to live, he wanted me to live with him. 